Hi, and welcome to Dave Barley Guitar, and today we're in repair mode. I have, uh, where's it gone? Um, yeah. This guitar, you've seen it in a previous video. This is an Epiphone that I kind of uh, changed the look off. Anyway, uh, when I played the guitar live for the first time, uh, the lights went down and I was horrified. Uh, I didn't really realise this, but I couldn't see the, the dot inlay, the, the dot markers. I don't know if you can see them. They're really faint on this guitar. I mean, they're really faint. And um, so anyway, in the end, uh, halfway through the gig, when we, when we stopped for a break, I had to put like these little stickers on. Um, we found some sticky back stuff and we just put these stickers on it so I could see where I was going because it was pitch black, couldn't see the guitar. Um, I never, it doesn't have any inlay markers here but I never look at those anyway. Um, I don't know if you do, but I don't. Um, I, if, I, if I'm glancing down, I look at these little dots here. A lot of stuff you can sort of play in the dark, it, you know, if you've done it for a long time. But some stuff, you know, when you're kind of moving around up and down the neck a lot, it can be a bit scary. Plus, on the, uh, uh, at the same time, I've not played this guitar before, so it kind of felt a little bit different. And yeah, it was uh, pretty scary. But anyway, we got through the gig, it was all right. But uh, so now I have to kind of um, do something about this. Um, some people said, oh, yeah, use Tipex. Some people just said use Sticky something or whatever. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. I've never done, I've never, I've never modified this before. So, um, so what I thought I'd do is I just get, I just put some more of these in because the ones that are in there are like a really small. I mean, they're like three quarters the size of this dot um, marker thing. I mean, you buy these on eBay and stuff. They're just like strips of white plastic and you drill a little hole. I don't know how deep you drill it. I'm going to find that out because uh, I've never done this before. And you drill a hole and then you put this in it. I suppose we kind of seat it in with some super glue. I, I don't know. I've never done it before. Or And then for, somehow we've got to like get it flush. Um, maybe I'll do it with a knife. I don't really want to um, sand it because then I'll be sanding the, sanding the neck as well. I don't really want to do that. Uh, obviously, you know, if it's a proper job, it'll be done properly and, you know, but we're not spending all that money so um so yeah it's not a boss job but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a crack at it so like um, so, so the best thing to do right is before you drill holes in your guitar uh, and you know for stuff like this get a scrap piece of wood and uh, you know and then if you're gonna drill a hole for this you know drill the hole and make sure that the, the drill bit and you know, it doesn't cut out more more wood than, than, than you expect it to, because sometimes some drill bits do, depending on what you're using. Um, I don't think I got a wood bit this size. Um, and I'm not gonna go out and buy one either, just, just for this job. I'm just gonna use a, a high-speed steel bit. Uh, it should be fine. The only the only um, thing, that, instead of using this drill, which is a big, kind of heavy cordless drill, I'm gonna use this drill, um, which is really, uh, it's a drill driver, which is, very good, but um, it's got this attachment on it that I put on, which is just a chuck, and it just goes around really slow. So, anyway, I'm going to do a, a test hole. Anyway, so I've done one already, and it looks quite flush. I'll do another one. Show you. Fairly tight. There you go. There you go. That's reasonably flush, but because I didn't push it on all the way, I can kind of probably push that in a bit so it is flush. Try not to take out the. Yeah, it's flush. That's good. I can I, I can do that. Let me see if I can get it closer. That one. That's nice and flush. Okay, so now we know how to do it. Let's run with it. Assuming that I don't have to go in too far, I put some. Um, I don't know if you can see this tape. So that's how deep I'm going to go. I think. Like I say, it's the first time I've done it. Okay, I forgot. Before, um, 
drilling uh, you know into the into the guitar I'm gonna get a, a, a nail and um, and just create a, a center punch so when I drill it, it it drills actually in the center of where I want to drill it to the other, the other thing to watch out for obviously is you need to be level when you're drilling so uh, yeah hey you know scary stuff but you know might as well crack on with it get it done there you go Take your time. a bit of residue in that one, that's actually come out nice and clean in it goes, there we go, look at that can you see, oh you just about can see so it's that one, and a crack on do all the others in exactly the same way I might do this one next uh, uh, I'll just do all those, um, is it deep enough? I think it's deep enough Up and crack on. It's got to be this way. Yeah. Wow. This one was really difficult, but that one is perfect. That's perfect. So uh, yeah, I, I kind of like drilled this, and it looked a bit wrong. You probably can't see, but you know, I drilled. But anyway, now I put the now I put the dowel in. And it looks okay. So if you don't drill it dead center in the previous um, position, don't worry too much. Doesn't look like it. Can't you? Don't really tell that much. Okay, so there's a new inlay, real close up, but um, yeah, it's a lot better than the one before. Okay, right, the next job is, um, is to move this. We're going to move this to here, because um, I kind of put the guitar on and you balance it, and you kind of balance it, and it's, it tips slightly forward a little bit uh, so I took the strap off and kind of held it a little bit to see if I get a feel for it and it kind of felt a bit better it might tip that way a little bit but I can live with that so um, we're going to move this button and put it on the back so um, obviously you might want to fill this hole um, do you know what I just, this is just like a working guitar you know and I, I ain't worried about too much in a way of cosmetics it with it apart from as long as it wasn't you know matte black like it was before um, you can fill the hole loads of different ways if you want to mess about with that or you can just leave leave this in in which case uh, I think that's something I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave this on and put a button on the back so I just got a choice of both um, for now okay so I'm gonna crack on with that
This done. It's done. Check it out. Okay, so I've moved it. Can you see I've moved it to the heel? Um, and it's just balance is perfect. In fact, uh, I could do with a lower strap, I think. But, okay. Now this guitar is even easier to play. No, Vincent, I don't look like Stephen Wilson. Sometimes guitars aren't perfect when you get them, uh, especially second hand, but it don't take much to, you know, sort of get them sorted out. Just, uh, you know, just a few tweaks here and there, and you're sorted. Anyway, hope it was interesting. I'll catch you later.